on you guys like with you guys to another one take review it's your boy big dog back with a review for agents of shield season six episode nine collision course part two where let's just go ahead and address a few different things it, one in particular let's go ahead and address uh the situation on the on the truck to where hey Deke realized like hey i can't stop this thing and he had a moment where, like he got his confidence he's like hey man, I, maybe i can't then he realized like y'all I, can, I, can, I can't stop this i thought i thought like the pep talk was gonna help me and usually i hate when like this don't have a pep talk motivate somebody to, like do something they couldn't do before and, and, and especially in a situation like that in which like dude you're about to die like what other motivation do you possibly need you know but uh not only that i what uh, another issue i had about that i did was some things going on this episode people another issue i had was like deep just make snowflake and so he i, I get it like this had a quick little flame and stuff like that and Deke probably not, man, I ain't gonna say Deke not used to having a girl, but like, we even see when he had like the IG model or whatever, or the influencer or whoever, uh, he still really wanted Daisy. So they're about to die. And like, they're like, it's like, in their mind, it's like a for sure death. There's nothing we can do. This is an atom bomb. We can't stop it. And Deke does not tell Daisy how he actually felt about her. I'm like that, I'm like, there's no way he wouldn't just express himself, like what he feel for her, knowing he's about to die. Like he would definitely do that right now. Speaking of them about to die, this bomb goes off if anything so much as touches it. That's why they've been so calm around it. Like Daisy couldn't use her quake powers, which a lot of times it's like, hey, you shouldn't use your power. You might set something off. Yes, she still does it, it does nothing. This case, they go through like the, the 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 strife, the strike or whatever, and she's containing the bomb. Uh, she's protecting it with her powers. Really? <laughs> That's all that I was thinking to myself. I'm like, really? And then when the strike starts, oh my god, this I'm just like, yo. And if that wasn't enough for you the strike it have i mean it was a bunch of them when you seen them get let loose you seen it was a bunch of them. so they're trying to get in and, and so on and so forth my mate just so happens to say deep says one of them in the mouth like oh they almost got I almost kept your mouth shut i'm like why are you trying to say cool lines right now i almost died but you didn't want to save me or something like i just tried to save your life but now you so like this it was just weird everything going on i ain't even got to what's going on on the quinjet but like and, and i mean the, the like the big ship so daisy ends up telling them like just open the door and listen i know i'm, I'm taking these pauses but it's just I'm, I'm just thinking of it in my head like what the fuck just happened daisy out of a sudden had on the infinity gauntlet snapped all the strife away i guess this was happening so i'm just like they're disappearing they are turning into di what nah man Nah, I'm just gonna say now. Nah. I ain't gonna say why. I'm just gonna say now, nah, man. Now. Nah. Okay? Now. Nah, now. Nah, now. Nah. Hell to the now, nah, man. All of that. That just all that just went over. Hell to the now, nah, man. And then we get Jocko turning on Sarge. Sarge was kind of a dick, but you kind of see, right? Sarge was doing what he had to do. I mean, this is like his whole mission in life or past life i don't know him and isaiah have a little back and forth fifth and seven just will happen to get away it, i was just like everything is so convenient this episode that i i i, I didn't like it and like everything was just so 
convenient. I'm like, okay. Oh, this work? Oh, that work? That work? That work? I said, okay. I'm like, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, Sarge, why are you keeping these people alive? They are, are they're clearly a threat to your mission. You got everybody else out the way who was a threat to your mission. Like, why are you keeping them? I'm just like, oh, Lord. No matter how good a villain is or how dire a situation is, you can't get past the plot armor. And there was plot armor to go around for everybody. Because I don't, Isaiah's not dead. Jocko died for no reason. I won't even be surprised if Jocko's still alive, bro. Like, but, yeah, he blew up for no, nah, he definitely dead. I'm sorry, he not survived for that motherfucker. Jocko dead. Pretty sure Isaiah got off the thing. Cause when her, when Jocko and uh, old dude, uh, the white dude, Parshia, they split up to like flank uh, uh, Isaiah. I'm pretty sure she got away then, or like she's like a shapeshifter as well. So she's probably impersonating what's her name. So and at the end, when they look like May shooting Sarge, I think that's Isaiah and Isaiah infiltrated Shield. We have another shapeshifter. Uh, uh, so I. I, I, I Just gonna see what we got next episode, people, because they gonna have to follow this up with some shit that makes sense. I think it snowflake that snowflake ain't put a jet it just seems like to be something. I don't know, man. I don't. It 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 it, it, it ah, the tone was just all over the place. I just I just can't. Ah, ah, ah. Shake back, man. Shake back, man. But you guys, let me know what you thought about this crazy episode down in the comments man hit that like button subscribe to my channel i catch up with you guys later